Okay. Hi, my name is Roman Graf. I am from Deloitte company, and I perform this research together with my colleague uh, Artur Slavrenov. I would like to present to you our approach uh, that should help uh, uh, for cybersecurity managers uh, to better understand threat landscape. Uh, usually my job is a pen tester, uh, but I am also performing informational security assessments, and I noticed that multiple uh, uh, managers uh, simply doesn't understand the uh, threat landscape and uh, what and how they should uh, to protect and uh, this approach should help them to better understand it. Uh, uh, <clears throat> they will, if they implement it, they will better see how threats uh, were developed uh, in the uh, past, uh, what are current uh, possible threats uh, and uh, how it could develop in the future. Uh, for this, of course, uh, they first need to assess their own uh, organization as assets. Uh, they need uh, to use some of uh, cybersecurity standards. Uh, I personally <coughs> uh, like uh, OWASP SEM uh, because it's an open standard and uh, it allows you, as not professional, uh, by means of questions, assess your organizational assets and risks and uh, visually present it. And uh, it is not on this slide, but uh, you can uh, you simply find it on the internet. And uh, having this analysis, you can better plan your protection measures. Uh, on the right side, uh, uh, I took as example uh, uh, exploit DB uh, because uh, uh, then you also, as manager, should understand your current threats and. Uh, uh, then you can take your feeds from your organization because you can have your own uh, and also publicly accessible feeds. Maybe you have some uh, feeds from third-party providers. And here is just one example with this exploit DB because it's a well-structured, uh, labeled uh, data set uh, which was easy to analyze as a sample. It's not necessary this one because as you also can see with the years, uh, number of uh, um, threats reduces and uh, apparently it doesn't depict the current uh, real picture. And <laughs> having uh, such uh, feeds, uh, uh, you have to normalize it to common view. Uh, you have to address uh, issues like uh, uh, great inflation, like uh, sparsity, that your data have the same, your feeds have the same scale, so the uh, severity levels uh, can be in three levels, four levels, or five levels, and you can <coughs> uh, try to have a common uh, scale for them. Also, you should check that not too much uh, empty entries are in your data set. And then you select uh, um, your uh, approach <coughs> how to analyze this data. Uh, I would suggest to use simple classical machine learning methods, not necessary to use uh, fancy modern AI um, models, because uh, uh, these simple methods often are sufficient, are understandable, explainable. You have your own uh, data in your organization, you don't need to send them to any uh, third party or cloud, and you are sure that every data is protected in your organization. Uh, and uh, there are two op options uh, how you can work with this data. You can make predictions and recommendations. Uh, for predictions, I used in our example approach uh, Manhattan distance method, but you can also use uh, any other, like Euclidean distance. And as that of uh, exploit the bear was quite good. So I just took uh, most important uh, attack vectors, uh, as you can see, approximately 10 and analyze them and filter it out some unimportant vectors which are not so often. But of course, each manager can decide what exactly he needs to filter out uh, from his feeds. And for recommendation, for prediction, you can uh, use, for instance, slope one method, uh, which what we used here. But any of these methods are easy to find in the internet. So you can just, I used Python, uh, this uh, Jupyter uh, notebook, and just took uh, some methods from internet and it was quite easy to adapt them and uh, implement this workflow which you see in the middle of this picture. So basically uh, we aggregated data, uh, normalized them, 
uh, understood which risk we want to analyze and performed a uh, recommendation and uh, prediction. Uh, idea is that you uh, create uh, profiles. I use, for instance, for each quarter. In each quarter, we analyzed what is uh, now the current status. In this picture uh, chart uh, on the left side below, you see example for quarter one of this year, where we uh, provided initial inputs that we know that remote code execution uh, have 20% for our organization, SQL injection could be 10% of importance, and uh, uh, authentication bypass uh, threats could be 15%. And using our approach, we uh, calculated additional missing uh, vectors, uh, which could be also, also uh, important for your organization from analysis of these feeds. So then you, as a manager, could uh, better plan. So it suggests to you how could you split your budget, how to do plan your protection measures against which uh, threats. So that's basically from my side. Thank you for your attention.